Make me a house, make me a house of prayer. Make me a house, make me a house of prayer, a house of prayer. Lord, make me a house, make me a house of prayer. Lord, The fire on my altar never burn out. The fire on my altar never burn out. May the fire on my altar never burn out. Make me a house of prayer. May the fire on my altar never burn out. The fire on my altar never burn out. May the fire on Seek your face, seek your face, oh Lord. I want to seek your face, seek your face, oh Lord, make me a house, make me a house of prayer, a house of prayer, may the fire of my altar never burn out, the fire of my altar never burn out, may the fire of my altar never burn out, make me a house of prayer. The fire of my altar never burn up. The fire of my altar never burn up. May the fire of my altar never burn up. Make me a house of prayer. We pray, Lord, make me a house. Make me a house of prayer. I want to seek your face. Seek your face, oh Lord. May the fire of my altar never burn up. The fire of my altar never burn up. So may the fire of my altar never burn up. Make me a house of prayer. May the fire of my altar never burn up. The fire of my altar never burn up. May the fire of my altar never burn up. Seek your face, seek your face, oh Lord. Make me a house, make me a house of prayer, a house of prayer. 
The Youth Ministry presents Paint and Praise on Saturday, June 12th at 4 p.m. Please call the church office to register. You can go to our website and click the Give tab. You can call the church office and give your gift with your debit or credit card. You can mail your gift to the church. You can bring your gift to the church during office hours, Tuesday through Friday, 10 to 4 p.m. You can give through Cash App on your smart device. Thank you for engaging in the ministry of giving.
call for worship for Pentecost Sunday. In a social climate that does not favor our existence, we gather together as our ancestors did on one accord on our arrival. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Bring with you your power. We invoke your presence to come and rest upon us so that we might understand one another in our generation and gender. We are about the beloved community. Bring with you your power. Power not only be witness of your glory, but that stand strong together, a time when we lay to justice sometimes we fly, and those who thou protect us are causing our blessed to cry from David. We need your peace. Bring with you your power. Power to speak life into kings and queens, both young and old, letting them know that they are somebody. We must be respected, protected, and never rejected. Bring with you your power. Power to be our strength to our times and weaknesses so that we might sing unto the Lord a new song. With uplifted voices for as long as we shall live. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Great morning and welcome to Mount Calvary Amy Church. I declare that we are glad that you are watching us today. This is our youth ministry, our youth ministry worship experience. And we are just so proud of, of how our young people are going forth uh, in the ministry here at Mount Calvary. Um, we hope and we do pray that you will enjoy their worship experience today and that you will let them know that you enjoyed the service. Again, welcome and let's go in and celebrate with our youth ministry as they praise God in their own way. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for being a good God. Thank you for the fellowship of my family and church family. Thank you for our individual homes. May you continue to bless this home called Mount Carey. Please forgive us for our sins. May your spirit dwell here always. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I will be reading John chapter 16, verse 4 through 16. I have told you this so that when the time comes, you will remember that I warned you. I did not tell you this at first because I was with you. Now I'm going to him who sent me, yet none of you ask me, where are you going? Because I have said these things, you are filled with grief. But I t tell you the truth, it is for your good that I'm going away. Unless I go away, the counselor will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. When he comes, you will convict the world of guilt in regard to sin and righteousness and judgment. In regard to sin, because men do not believe in me. In regard to righteousness, because I am going to the Father where you can no longer see me. In regard to judgment, because the prince of this world now stands condemned. I have much more to say to you, more than you can bear. But when he, the spirit of truth, comes, he will, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak, speak of only what he hears. And he will tell you what is yet to come. He will bring the glory to me by taking from what is mine and making it known to you. All that belongs to the Father is mine. That is why I said the spirit will take from what is mine and making it known to you. In a little while, you will see me no more. And then after a little while, you will see me. This is the word of God for the people of God.
holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Uh, we gather together today, young people, in celebration of Pentecost Sunday. To God be the glory. Uh, recognizing our servant pastor, the Reverend Bobby B. Cox Jr., our first lady, Reverend Angie C. Cox, fellow clergy, ministry le leaders, members, and visiting friends. I greet you in the wonderful name and joy of Jesus, for this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be fiery glad in it. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this time and experience in your presence. Thank you for the blood of Jesus that saves, keeps, and satisfies us as we are safely hidden away behind the sacrifice of our Lord and our Savior. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. In Jesus' name, amen. Young people, I want to call to your attention this morning the gospel according to St. John chapter 14, verse 16. Again, the gospel according to St. John chapter 14, verse 16. Uh, the New International Version uh, of John's gospel records these words. Hear the word of the Lord. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. The word of God for the children of God. Young people, a spiritual thought and meditation from this text this morning. I'm weighed down. A Christmas to Pentecost story. I'm weighed down. A Christmas to Pentecost story. My brothers and sisters, when I was six years old or so, uh, I begged for one of the best and newest toys in stores for Christmas. And uh, since I did well uh, as instructed at home and in school, uh, I received for uh, Christmas from my parents one of those inflatable Fred Flintstone roly-poly punching bags. Uh, some of you may know what I'm talking about, one of those blow-up weeble wobbles by Hasbro. Uh, the same makers of G.I. Joe, uh, Transformers, Power Rangers, and more. Uh, like some of the kids in the commercial then, I was thrilled and could barely contain uh, excitement over future bouts with my bag. And because I could not wait to punch my roly-poly punching bag, uh, I started ahead of time uh, planning uh, how I would attack Fred uh, by catching him off guard, uh, advancing him, uh, and then backing him against the ropes uh, in my imaginary ring. So after my father, the late Reverend Dr. Higgs, uh, fully inflated my toy on Christmas morning, uh, I stepped to Fred, uh, double dared him uh, to pick a fight, and, 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 and I began my frontal assault. From that time onward, young people, day after day, uh, night after night on that cold basement floor, I would repeatedly uh, dance around Fred, uh, landing left and right jabs. Uh, as it turned out, uh, my weeble wobble I had gotten for Christmas uh, was much more than I had anticipated. Uh, it was much more than I had bargained. Uh, it did not matter uh, how hard I'd punch Fred. Uh, Fred, Barney's buddy, uh, took the blows, uh, repeatedly leaned to his left and right sides, then would return to an upright 
position. Uh, Fred was stand there as if I'd never punched him at all. Uh, round after round, young people. Uh, round after round, young people. Uh, round after round, young people. Uh, I tried to overcome Fred uh, with a technical knockout, uh, but was most unsuccessful. Uh, as long as the assaults lasted, uh, Fred, with that plastic uh, manufactured smile, uh, would weeble and wobble, then return to that upright position for uh, quite some time thereafter. Uh, that thing bothered me, uh, regardless of my attacks against Fred, uh, I could not overcome him. Uh, I was beyond rattled because I could not make any inroads. Uh, how was it that I could battle Fred in the morning, battle Fred in the noonday, uh, battle Fred in the evening till the sun went down, uh, and that weeble wobble would stand there uh, as if I had not laid a hand on him. Years later, my sisters and brothers, I finally learned why my weeble wobble could do what it did. Fred could take a hit from me because of what had weighed down in him from on the inside. Uh, in the beginning, you see, at the time, idea and design of Fred, young people, uh, Hasbro uh, formed and placed a weight uh, in the bottom center of my weeble wobble. So when my weeble wobble uh, was fully inflated and then tipped uh, by something from the outside, uh, the weeble wobble uh, would lift off the ground uh, in as much as that after the tipping and after the striking would stop, uh, Fred had the ability uh, to return to an upright position. Uh, well, preacher, uh, some of you may ask, what in the world does Fred have to do with us on a Pentecost Sunday? Well, I'm glad some of you have asked. Uh, like my Fred Flintstone roly-poly uh, punching bag that had the capacity uh, to return to an upright position because of what weighed down on in him uh, from on the inside, God too uh, has given us a weeble wobblers of uh, the same ability as Fred the roly-poly punching bag. According to the text, Jesus said, I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate uh, to help you and be with you forever. And yet, despite Jesus' words, not my words, uh, despite Jesus' words, one of the central truths in the text, that is, God will give us another advocate advocate to help us and be with us, uh, why do we allow uh, negative people and their negative words to matter when we are already weighed down? For whatever reason, believers find themselves in unbelief. Uh, the text still declares we are given of the Father at the request of the Son an, an advocate that will help us and be with us forever. Uh, because God's faithfulness uh, is eternal uh, towards us, uh, the advocate was given by God at the request of his Son to help you and I and to be with us forever. Uh, because of God's loving kindness uh, chases us with grace and mercy, uh, the advocate was given by God at the request of the Son uh, 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 that 
he may uh, be with us and help us forever. Uh, uh, because uh, God is a jealous God and inhabits the praises of his people. Glory to his name. Uh, the advocate was given by God uh, at the request of the son uh, to help us and be with us forever. As weeble wobblers in Christ, young people, we are weighed down from on the inside. And the advocate Jesus spoke of was none other than the third person of the Holy Trinity. This advocate is the one that comes to every believer in the name of the Lord. Uh, the advocate will not brag on himself, take the word of others, or even ourselves. But the advocate uh, weighed down in us according to the same gospel of John in chapter 16, verses 13 through 15 tells us the advocate will guide us into all truths. Uh, he will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears and he will tell us what is yet to come. Uh, he will glorify, hallelujah, uh, he will glorify Christ because it is from Jesus that he, the advocate, will receive what he, the advocate, will uh, make known to us. This advocate that stands up in us, weeble wobblers today, and aids us in an upright position is the same advocate that came on the day of Pentecost. I don't know about you, my brothers and sisters, we got to believe that regardless of any enemy contender, this advocate is the one who can stand up in us in, a, a, in an attack, uh, no matter the weapons formed against us. And unless we forget young people and not remember as so many have, before our advocate came to us, like my Fred Flintstone roly-poly punching bag that was contained in a box on a dusty shelf, flat, uninflated, and showing no visible signs of power, so too was our reality. But grace be unto God, through Christ Jesus that took us weeble wobblers off the dusty shelf of life and given us the power as through the Holy Spirit and breathe new life. Our advocate is not just in you, me, him, or her. Our advocate rests, rules, and abides with every believer by gracious design. By gracious design, God placed the blood weight of righteousness down on the inside that redeems us weeble wobblers with victory. In this pandemic world, with all the fixings, the only way to rope a dope an enemy that's failed proof tried and true uh, in maintaining or returning to an upright position and this ring called life is to be on Team Jesus' side. As the 14th chapter of the Gospel of John tells us, the only way to the Father uh, is through the Son. Uh, the only way for the advocate to come and to be weighed down in us is to accept the Son. In spite of what you and I have been through as sinners saved by grace, what God weighed down in us on the inside will aid us to stand tall in an upright position. God knew when God created you and me what we needed down on the inside. The indwelling of the Holy Spirit, our advocate, 
uh, knows and understands as weeble wobblers, we can do nothing uh, of ourselves, but our hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. Our advocate knows and understands the power of Jesus' resurrection for us weeble wobblers. Because of the advocate, we not only have the ability to stand, but when we are tilted on every leaning side, we are able to return to that upright position as if we've never been attacked at all. No wonder the songwriter Dion Kipping sings, I don't look like what I've been through. This morning, if you do not know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, as both young and old, where you have received and been weighed down with the blood weight of righteousness, I invite you in touch into such a personal relationship with God through our Lord and Savior Jesus, the Christ. The Bible says if you confess with your mouth that the Lord Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For all who call on the name of Jesus will be saved. I invite you this morning, wherever you are, in your kitchen, in the car, in the bedroom, at your desk, in studies, out walking, I invite you at the bottom of your screen if you would just comment in the comments section, I accept Jesus. Perhaps you are saved but need a church home or desire to come back home. As well, you too can type in the comments section, I want to come back home. If you desire someone to pray for you and with you, Mount Calvary AME Church is willing and available. We are willing and available. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for another opportunity in this worship encounter and to experience your presence in the beauty of holiness. We pray now, God, that as we go forth in this day, our advocate points us to the truth in Jesus Christ. We thank you, almighty God, for the privilege of your word because we are weighed down. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. In the words of our beloved servant pastor, Reverend Bobby B. Cox, Jr., it's been a good day. It's been a mighty, mighty good day. It's been an awesome day, and we praise and thank God for it. Let us look to the Lord. Now to God, who is able to keep us from stumbling and to present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy, to God our Savior, who alone is wise, uh, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, now and forever. And the believers say amen, amen, and amen. Thank you for joining our virtual worship experience. And may God continue to bless and keep you. Until the next Lord's Day, be well and be safe.